everyone and welcome back to our channel today we're gonna talk about what to expect in the second month with your newborn baby first of all uh, most babies get into a schedule by this time so they finally know when night is when day is they, they develop a schedule when they get up and eat during the day and during the time as well and um, they like to stick to that schedule so also they, they start to sleep better during the night, so maybe a 3-4 hour stretch uh, you can expect uh, during that time. Like mine was cluster feeding um, starting 10 p.m. 10 to 10 p.m. to midnight and then she was still waking up every 3 hours, but before in the first month she was waking up every one and a half to two hours so also as your baby is growing and their tummy is growing they can get in more food and then that means that they are waking up um, hungry less often so you can get more sleep in between feedings um, also they start to produce more um, in their diaper so you might have to go up a size uh, depending how much your baby is growing at that time uh, so our, my baby started out very small when we brought her home from the hospital um, she was uh, just over two kilos uh, not quite five pounds and uh, a week later so uh, a week later she was um, she reached five pounds but basically um, in the first month she uh, went to 3,230 grams, so she gained uh, more than a kilo. She gained more than a kilo in a month, and then the second month, um, she was 4,335 grams, so she gained another kilo um, in the second month. So they are growing very fast at that time. In mine, obviously, as I said, started out very small because she was uh, born pre uh, three months preterm and she was small even um, for her size at three months uh, preterm. And she's still a smaller baby compared to her size. Like she's tall, but she's um, her weight is just um, she's still under nine kilos and she's um, 14 months. So. <laughs> Yeah, uh, most babies um, get to like 10 kilos in their first year. So, um, but you can definitely expect a huge growth in your baby as uh, with the weight as well as uh, height length. And uh, that just means that uh, uh, they're probably going to get in more milk um, during each feeding, but then they might eat less often. But also if your baby starts going through a, a big uh, growth, uh, um, period then obviously they they might wake up actually every hour and feed even more than um, usually so that's with the growing obviously you're expecting that so your feeding and sleeping schedule start to get more um, developing more into a schedule and the baby is probably gonna be a bit better sleeper during the night their tummies uh, their digestive system is developing rapidly at that time and they uh, that means that you might experience less uh, tummy issues on the other hand you might experience more tummy issues and also um, this might be a time when you don't produce enough when you get to a point that you don't produce enough milk and you might have to substitute with formula and when you add the formula in that causes tummy issues um, for lots of babies and you can obviously try different formulas we did as well but uh, and then I we found that the one that caused her less gassiness made her uh, constipated and then she was in pain <laughs> whenever she had to go to the washroom so um, we actually had to go back to another formula that uh, caused more tummy troubles but that least she was going very easily when she had to go uh, and that just caused less um, pain in the long term for us because when your baby is constipated that's really hard and uh, um, not just on them because they are in pain but also uh, they don't want to eat because they feel full and especially with my baby I just wanted my baby to grow and I wanted my baby to eat a lot um, so with the formulas anyways if, if you have to 
um, substituted formula or you already started with formula, then it's a good idea to try different formulas if uh, the baby develops any issues. Um, and also there are babies who are lactose intolerant and then you can get formulas that are not uh, milk based as well. Uh, luckily we didn't have that issue with our baby. So what else did I wanted to say? So breastfeeding wise you're probably at this time um, you're probably both are a pro at breastfeeding so you probably don't have uh, much more issues going on um, that you might have experienced in the first few weeks <clears throat> while you were working on your latch and uh, if your baby was tongue-tied and you needed to use a nipple shield that you might be able to get off the nipple shield by this time. Uh, we used the nipple shield for a little bit longer, um, almost the first uh, six months actually. Uh, also, your baby is uh, more up, so when they, they sleep less and uh, when they are up, then they are up and then you can finally interact with your baby a bit more. Obviously, you still have to put them on the tummy most of the time when they are up so they can um, develop their uh, neck muscles. My baby was, at this time, my baby was able to keep her head up, uh, no issue, for quite a long period of time on her tummy. Um, by two months, but uh, my baby was able to lift her head up when we brought her home from the hospital, which would be just her due date. And obviously most newborn babies can do that, but she, she, because she was born earlier and she experienced gravity earlier, um, and she was working out in the hospital as well, in her bed, um, her neck muscles were quite strong. So. By the time we brought her home, which would have been her due date, she could lift her head up. So by the two month uh, period of time, um, uh, she was having no issues, spending lots of time on her tummy uh, with her head up. And I actually started to uh, sit her up as well with uh, pillows and the, you know the couch as a support uh, because obviously um, she can sit by her own, but just so she can practice keeping her head up while she's in a sitting position as well. Uh, also, they are uh, smiling a lot and um, supposedly this is not real smile yet. They, they just say that this is a smile that um, when they have gas they smile. Uh, but I did notice that it was getting to be a social smile and she was smiling every time uh, I smiled at her, so that's a social smile. And also, she was she started to laugh for the second, but in the second month, my baby was laughing with a little giggling sound as well, or a laughing sound. She was making actually such a cute laughing sound. Um, what else? Oh yes, um, when you're um, playing with your baby in the second month, I noticed that she was finally. Uh, reaching out for the toys with her hand, so um, she couldn't actually hold much in her hand yet. Uh, she was more just reaching out for them. Um, she was talking a lot by that time, and anyways. Uh, so by the second month, she was talking a lot um, in her baby language, and actually. Um, Kind of like a conversation so you were saying something and then she was saying something <laughs> you were saying something so she was actually keeping up a conversation in her baby language at the two months and you can expect your baby to to smile laugh and be a bit more um social with you by the second month finally because the first month they really don't spend too much time interacting with you they, they sleep too much and uh, it's time you can finally see your baby's uh, personality develop and I think that's so much fun to see. I mean, with her, this um, she talks a lot still, like she's in her baby language, talks so much and um, she was talking a lot at that time as well. So um, basically what you kind of see developing in the second month, I think it's kind of showing you your baby's personality quite well um so and she's very giggly um 
baby she's smiling a lot and laughing a lot now and she was uh, doing that at that time as well so so my baby could actually turn from her tummy to her um, back by that time but it was um, not really a controlled movement it was more of an accidental flip so basically when her she was on her her tummy and she was really you know pushing her her head up and uh, was trying to move uh, with her head up then she just uh, uh, had the momentum and flipped over but that's the start of them actually learning to uh, turn over to their uh, back and that's always so from tummy to her back is the first uh, first one and then they learn from the back to the tummy a little bit later on and she was really uh, greatly motivated to turn uh, if you were holding one of her favorite toys at that time their favorite toys were mainly just like rattle toys uh, that's what she was the more interested in um, turning towards um, anything that made a noise a rattle or a bell and um, that kind of things I think I'm gonna stop this video here I don't like to have my videos too long like I don't like to have them uh, longer than 10 minutes uh, 15 minutes because I think it's just too much um, time to sit that through like a 30 minute video you know so I rather um, cut them into like 10 15 minute uh, uh, videos and then put a part uh, take make a part one part two part three and then just upload them on the next days so anyways I'm gonna stop here and that's about half of what I wanted to say about the first uh, um sorry the second month anyways um so i see you guys tomorrow in the next one